This episode is for Bo Norton and Bo has this deep down fear that he's overcharging for his products. So he has his own products and he has this deep down fear that what if he charges too much for it, right? Welcome to the Till Boadella Show, where I show you how to create the freedom and lifestyle you truly desire by thinking outside the box, working smart and becoming the best version of yourself. Tune in every day and get real life strategies to grow your own business, hack your life and get more done in less time. Subscribe to the show and add Till Boadella on Snapchat. Basically, this is a very common thing and I believe the reason why we have this is because of self-esteem issues. If I would have to boil it down to why this problem exists, I think it is linked to our own concept of our own value, right? If you think of an iPhone, you don't think, oh, is Apple overcharging for the iPhone? Because the iPhone is linked to the Apple brand and it's not linked to you. But as soon as you're putting out your own products, it's like your own baby, right? And you put it out there. So suddenly your ego kicks in and your fear, asking yourself, oh, is the stuff that I'm putting out really so valuable? Who am I to charge so much for what I have created? So these questions and these concerns regarding Pricing your own products are usually linked to some sort of subtle self-esteem issues related to the content and the products that you have created because they are your creations. Which is an awesome thing because it means you have created something that's really unique. It's something that you have put out there and um, usually when artists and I, I believe all entrepreneurs, in a way, are artists. So I believe when we put out our own art, there's always fear involved. So that being said, I think there's a couple of strategies that you can use to charge high for your products, even though you have this fear. And also something you have to realize is that we're dealing with a real situation right now in the world economy where it gets harder to charge a lot of money for products, especially information products. And now I'm not saying this in general, it depends a lot who you're selling to, but in the market there's a general downwards trend, right? There's all these tripwire offers and um, a lot of people don't even want to spend $30, $50 on an awesome course that can change their lives because they've seen these offers a million times, right? And five years ago or 10 years ago, it was easier to sell this stuff because it was more new. Now we have Udemy, we have all these sites and there's just information overwhelm. And a lot of people, unless you can communicate the value properly to them, and unless you're this perceived authority in their world, it's, it can be hard to charge like $2,000 or even $5,000 for, for an online course, for example. So there's a couple of strategies that allow you to charge high without making it feel like you're charging high. So the first strategy is to build a sales funnel, right? If you have, let's say a $7 entry offer, we call this a tripwire offer in, in digital marketing. If you have a tripwire offer for let's say $7 and then you have an upsell for $37 and then you have another upsell for maybe $49 and then you have an upsell for $200. Now the total value of what people can buy in your sales funnel is around $300, right? But you are spreading out the price and the value over multiple products in your funnel. So if people buy these products, it doesn't feel like they're spending so much money. Right? They, only enter, they only spend $7 on that tripwire offer and then all other products are just one-click upsells and you're basically baby-stepping a bigger sum of money. You're baby-stepping your customers through spending a bigger sum of money but you're breaking down every step into smaller 
pieces of the funnel, right? So first it's seven dollars, then maybe you know twenty-seven dollars, then maybe fifty dollars, and so forth. So people are oftentimes not willing to spend a big chunk of money right away, but if you are able to break down your product and the value that you offer into multiple steps in a sales funnel, then your chances are much higher that people will spend a larger sum of money on, your, on what you have to offer on your products, but not as one single purchase, but as a series of smaller purchases. So what I'm trying to tell you is, you have to break down the bigger purchases that used to work better in the past, you have to break down these bigger purchases into multiple smaller purchases throughout your funnel and that way it feels more doable, it feels like people are spending less but in reality they're spending the same amount of money throughout the funnel, right? So that's tip number one, that's what a lot of people are doing in the digital marketing space right now, that's how I I'm able to bring in these, you know, uh, $35,000 in five days launches and stuff like that. It's not from one product. It's, it's not from these major huge purchases. It's basically from breaking down a bigger purchase into small segments, into small mini purchases. And that all sums up to $35,000 in five days, right? I call these tripwire launches. So that's something you can do. And another strategy, and you know, this will make it feel like you're charging less for your products. So even if you aren't able to overcome this self-esteem issue that I mentioned at the very beginning, you can still make it feel like you are charging less for your product when in reality you get the same amount of money because you just broke down the purchase into multiple smaller steps. Get it? So number two, what you can do is you can also create a payment plan. This also makes it feel like you're charging less. So instead of charging $2,000 for your course or for a product, which might be hard to pull off in with the current economic situation, unless you're this super, this guru and uh, you have this perceived value built up in the marketplace. Um, but what you can do is you can, again, you can spread this $2,000 payment over 12 months and make it, for example, make it 12 payments of $197 or make it 12 payments of $97 like what I do for my inner circle. This way people give you the same amount of value but they don't do it in one big purchase. Again, they do it spread over an entire year in multiple small purchases, right? So. Installments are really a great way also to trick yourself into um, getting the same amount of money, sometimes even more money, right? Because you can increase the price or the value of your um, installment plan. You can make it higher than what people pay you as a one-time payment. So you're getting more money, but it feels to you like you aren't charging that much because people only pay you like $97 or $197 when they actually get the product. So you feel like, ah, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I mean, it feels okay to charge $97 or $197, but then that charge is recurring for 12 months, which means you get much more value, but I mean, you get much more money, but it doesn't feel like you're charging that much, which is another way to trick you, uh, trick yourself into getting over this, you know, this self-esteem issue related to pricing. And it also feels like it's, more doable to, to your customers. A lot of people aren't really willing to spend $2,000. Again, it, it truly depends on your positioning in the marketplace. Right? There's tons of people that charge $2,000, $1,000, heck, even $6,000 or more for information products. But if you're just starting out at the beginning, it's probably not gonna happen, I'm sorry. So you have to find other strategies to get the same amount of money um, spread over a certain period of time or spread over a sales funnel. So um, that being said, you, you also could consider selling services instead of products because services have a much higher perceived value than products, right? If, if you sell someone a product, it's like an instruction manual, but if you tell someone, hey, look, I'm giving you this brand new TV, 
and I'm going to set up everything for you so you don't even have to take a look at the instruction manual I'll just bring it over I'll set up everything and it'll just work that has a much higher perceived value than if you would just sell someone a user manual right or a guide everyone hates guides like if, if I buy a TV and there's this thick guide I don't like that right? I'd rather just have someone to set it up so it works and if you can build that into your business if you can somehow combine products but also sell services then you can justify a much higher price much more easily so if you would for example charge for coaching or done for you services or you know any form of service it's going to be easier for yourself to charge higher and it's going to be easier for your customers to justify a higher price just because again services have a much higher perceived value than products.